if homogeneity of the variances is required and it is to be tested for various samples then students we can make use of the non parametric test that is known as scared rank test so making use of that we can test that whether the variances of the two populations are they equal to each other or they are in a different relationship so a two tailed as well as one tailed test would be tested by making a comparison between the two kind of variances so students i'll be sharing with you one real life example where our objective is to test that whether the variances of the two populations are they identical to each other the problem in hand is uh, uh, that was a real life problem about a food packaging company who would like to be reasonably sure that the boxes of cereal it produces do in fact contain at least the number of ounces of cereal stamped on the outside of the box so this is a kind of quality control example in order to do this it must set the average amount per box a little above the advertised amount because the unavoidable variation caused by the packing machine will sometimes put a little less or little more cereal in the box a machine with smaller variation would save the company money because the average amount per box could be adjusted to be closer to the advertised amount a new machine is being tested and uh, it will be observed that if it is less variable than the present machine which in that case will be purchased to replace the old machine so we are required to test the hypothesis that both machines have equal variability that means the variation in both of the machines uh, that will be same but you see uh, one thing you need to observe i would like to mention it here students that we need to actually test that whether uh, the new machine will be purchased uh, due to the fact that uh, it would be less variable compared to the old machine so uh, using this statement will be constructing our pair of hypothesis so if you just see we have uh, made the pair of hypotheses that a under h not will be testing that variation in both of the machines is same whereas under the alternative hypothesis we are going to observe that variance of x is more than variance of y that means the old very old machine is showing more variation compared to the new machine which is being uh, denoted as y so students under step number 2 we are going to decide about alpha which is 0.05 under step 3 which is a test statistic we are going to calculate t1 or t1 calculate karne ke liye students sabse pehle aapko t nikalna padega aur t ko use karke aap t ke mean ko isme se minus karenge aur divide karenge standard error ke sath and here i would like to mention that our bar square is being calculated by some of the square of the ranks dividing them by capital n where capital n is actually n plus m yani ye do sample sizes ka sum hai and then summation ri4 is the sum of the ranks which is being raised to the power 4 so students sabse pehle agar aap dekhiye this is the data about uh, present machine which is being denoted as x aur new machine ke data ko aapne kaha hai y sabse pehle hame calculate karne the mu but as we are assuming that mu1 and mu2 are unknown so we need to estimate them from the sample so x bar is 10.74 students you know that how to calculate x bar it is simply the mean of x summing over x values dividing them by the total number of values you will be obtaining x bar similarly we have calculated y bar by making use of this y data the next column that we need to construct is ui which is sum of the square of the deviations yani students aapne 10.8 value ko uske mean mein se minus kiya aur usko square karke yahan likha hai as 0.06 and so on you have calculated the rest of the u values now moving on to the vj vj is based on the data of y that means the data of new machine new machine ka gram mean dekhiye 10.79 hai aapne har value ko yani pehli observation thi under y 10.8 10.8 ko aap minus karenge 10.79 mein se jo ki iska mean hai scaling the value you will get 0.014 and similarly you will be calculating the rest of the v values now students we need to uh, assign the rank to these data so ranks are assigned to to for the combined data of u and v ab students agar aap yahan pe dekhiye teen values are exactly identical under vj 0.014 0.014 and 0.014 
इसको आप रैंक असाइन करें वन इसको टू इसको थ्री सो थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ वैल्यूज है थ्री सिक्स डिवाइड बाई थ्री इज टू सो आपने टू रैंक असाइन किया ईज टू द वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो वन फोर सो आप ऑलरेडी वन टू थ्री अस्यूम कर चुके हैं उसके बाद जो नेक्स्ट वैल्यू आ रही है आपके पास वो है फोर यानी पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स है जो वैल्यू इनसे बढ़ी है एंड यू साइन रैंक फोर टू एट एंड सो ऑन यू विल बी साइनिंग द रेस्ट ऑफ द रैंक्स कंबाइनली टू द डेटा ऑफ यूज एंड वीज वंस यू आर डन विद दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉर्मूलाए यू विल हैव टू टेक द स्केयर ऑफ द रैंक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स आपने यहाँ पे ये आपके आर एक्स थे ये आपके पास आर वाई है इनके आप यहाँ पे आर एक्स का स्केयर कर रहे हैं एंड हेयर यू विल हैव आर वाई स्केयर देखिए यहाँ पे आपने फोर का स्केयर लिया सिक्सटीन टेन का स्केयर हंड्रेड टू का स्केयर फोर एंड सो ऑन समिंग ओवर दी सम ऑफ द स्केयर ऑफ द रैंक्स टी इज बिंग कैलकुलेटेड एज फोर सिक्सटी टू फॉर एक्स वैल्यूज और वाई वैल्यूज के लिए स्टूडेंट्स uh, जो आपका सम ऑफ द स्केयर ऑफ द रैंक्स है वो वन एटी सिक्स आए Now capital N is sum of the two sample sizes five plus seven. Capital N is twelve. Mu one, mu two. आप already calculate कर चुके हैं. अब आपने ये sum निकाला है four sixty two. A four sixty two is the sum of the square of the ranks for U. One eighty six is the sum of the rank uh, square of the ranks for V. Uh, combining them, dividing by twelve, you got fifty four. इसी तरह से students आपने sum of the ranks को uh, उनकी fourth power ली और तमाम ranks को under U और अंडर वी आपने उनकी जितने भी रैंक्स के स्केयर हैं उनको सम अप किया यू गॉट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फिर आपको नेक्स्ट कैलकुलेट करना है टी वन बाई यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूलाए सो प्लगिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज दैट यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड सो फार यू विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग टी वन एज टू पॉइंट थ्री टू सेवन थ्री नाउ स्टूडेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू योर स्टेप्स अंडर द कैलकुलेशन वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड टू पॉइंट थ्री टू सेवन नाउ दिस वैल्यू इज टू बी कंपेयर विद जी यू नो वाई बिकॉज अगर आप देखिए तो ये जो T1 है ये इनफैक्ट आपने इसको स्टैंडर्डाइज वेरिएबल बनाया है क्योंकि आपने वेरिएबल को उसके मीन में से माइनस करके उसके स्टैंडर्ड एरर से डिवाइड किया है इसलिए आप इसको कंपेयर करेंगे विद स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल टेबल वैल्यूज सो स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल टेबल फ्रॉम जीरो टू जी में जब आप वैल्यू आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे दैट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर फाइव नाउ द कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इज टू बी कंपेयर With this table value 1.645. Now, as you can see that our T1 2.327, it lies in the critical region because it is very much greater than 1.645. Therefore, we reject H not, and we conclude that the variability of the new machine is less than the present machine. That means the company would be uh, now able to buy the new machine because it is showing. less variation compared to the already existing old machine